Hello and welcome to another Lightwave tutorial. This time we're going to be uh, splitting and merging polygons. So here, as you can see, I am modeling uh, my phone, which is an iPhone SE out in Lightwave. It's been an interesting task um, getting all the measurements for this because I'm making it to scale and everything on the phone is to real scale. And it's been really interesting just noticing how much is on a phone and taking a ruler to my phone multiple times to measure things out. But anyway, uh, I'm going to be using this as an example because there's a tiny strip on the iPhone, which is a black strip, and it runs across the top of the phone, um, parallel to the speakerphone at the top, and also the bottom of the phone parallel to the home button. And I had a bit of trouble trying to make this. I actually ran into kind of a dead end. I uh, asked for... Uh, I asked my friend at university how, how I would actually do it because I needed to create a split down the side here and I've done it now uh, which is the tool I'm going to be showing today but I didn't know how to do it at first so I asked him and he knew how to do it so there we go. So to create this first of all let's get everything in, uh, let's get this, the, the parts that we're going to be creating the polygon on in shot which is just here. Then the tool itself is called the Knife Tool, which is located under Multiply and Subdivide. Alternatively, you can press uh, Shift-K on the keyboard and it will highlight, the, it will activate the, uh, the tool for you. And all we need to do, I'm just going to zoom out slightly more, because that's a bit too close. Uh, click and drag. This does have a numeric panel, but, uh, which is N on the keyboard, the shortcut for it to open it up. But I'm not going to be using it because I don't need it. Um, and I'm just going to be judging the distance so obviously I'm not going to actually make a second black line on the phone because uh, the phone only has one but I'm just using this as an example so you can shift around this tool by clicking and dragging on the ends of the tool um, I'm happy with that though so I'm just going to close the numeric panel and hit enter which will lock in the changes now I want to make a second one, so again, either um, clicking the knife or um, shift K on the keyboard and click and drag down. And you can see here, if I zoom in really, really close, you can see the distance between uh, the first one I'm making and the second one. So I want to make sure that that's as close to it as it could possibly be. which looks about right. That looks like, that might be even slight, that's slightly too slim. This is the eye that you've got to have, the ability to see the minute details. So that's, that looks, yeah, that looks the same. All right, so to lock it in again, press enter. However, you may notice when using the knife tool that I've now got these lines across the top and I don't want these lines across the top. So I need to change this. I need to merge the polygons together because at the minute, if I uh, spacebar, spacebar means that you cycle through these. So if I click spacebar again, we go to the point. If I click spacebar one more time, it's the edge. And another time is the polygon. That's entering polygon mode. So if I click on here, you'll notice that these don't light up because I've just split the polygons down the middle. But I don't want this line running, running across the top of the phone. I just want it on the sides of the phone. So to merge the polygons, you sh um, highlight the polygons that you need to highlight. So I've highlighted one of them, and you press Shift and click on the next one, and that will highlight these two here, and Shift again, um, and then Shift and then press. Alternatively, you can just click and hold to highlight all the polygons, and we've got them highlighted just there. To merge them, go to Modify, no. Ah, that's it. Go to Detail and Merge Polygons, which is Shift-Z. So if we uh, do Shift-Z on the keyboard, you'll notice that all the polygons merge and all the lines disappear. Now, I need to merge two more polygons, which is the top part and this part here. So after highlighting the section that you want to uh, merge, then press Shift and click, and it will select the next polygon, the corresponding polygon, and press shift and Z and it will merge these polygons. So now this entire surface, minus of course the home button and the speakerphone, 
and the camera are all one surface. So if I apply UV texture to this, this entire thing is going to be um, UV textured as one uh, solid face, which is good, which is what I want. Now you may notice that there's a line I've just noticed something else actually, hold on one second. So when you, when you split polygons, depending on where you're splitting them and what you're actually modeling, you may notice that there's a line running through certain things up here. What I'm doing is I'm getting really close in because I've actually put a line through the speaker film, which I didn't want to do. So again, you shift and um, click and drag across, um, shift Z, and then click here. There's a tiny gap just there and merge those, shift Z, and if we go across here, there's actually one just here as well. So click and hold, shift Z. And just here, if you can see it, click. Now, which one does that belong to? That's, sometimes you'll come into these weird situations where the polygon seems to be split absolutely down the middle. So one polygon is going to be slightly bigger than the other. You can see just there, look. So I've got to make a judgment and I'm going to judge that this one should belong to the one to the left because it makes it more even if, I was to, if it was to belong to the one to the right the polygon would be slightly more elongated now you may notice that there are lines running across the object just here this is actually just what lightwave does because you can't have objects which are connected uh, they need to be connected so you can see that there's a bunch of lines running along the phone. This won't be present in the final outcome. And this also won't be present when it comes to UV texturing because this is recognized as one solid surface. Um, it's just the light with light wave, you can't just have like uh, the speak phone here can't just be floating. It has to be connected to the rest of the phone because otherwise the program would break and we descend into the apocalypse. The same with the line here. So don't freak out about these lines. These are polygons which are merged. It's just that with the light wave, they need to be physically connected by a single strand. On the back of the phone, um, hold on, let me just look at the back of my phone. Yeah, so there's one line running across it, so I don't want these, I want these to merge. Merge there, and merge there. And also merge these two here. I could have just done this all at once, I've just realized that. So now we've just got one line running across the phone, which can be UV textured black, which is the way that the phone actually looks in real life, IRL. So that is how to split polygons and merge polygons in Lightwave. It's really simple to do. Uh, it's really easy to do once you get the hang of it. And uh, remember as well that these models may look complicated. This is just like really simple tools in Lightwave, just the box tool, the rounder tool, the knife tool, that kind of thing, the Boolean tool. That's all these really are is just getting measurements and mapping and matting light they're really easy to create so now we've got uh, a uv texturable side surface on the iphone so that has been it thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye